Welcome back guys to another episode of Kuang Tutorials with Everything Design. Today we have Construction Tool Demo. Please note that you cannot place library doors and windows on constructed walls and surfaces. I am just creating an extra level and a basement to show you what you can do with this tool. The easiest way to create levels is to just add them in the floor plan and you can make changes to it if you want. Let's create a basement first, reach for a rectangle then select any face or corner and drag to another to connect. Use push and pull icon to pull it down, I'm doing the same thing here. With the same tool, I push to make the faces align. I will add some exterior geometry. Take rectangle, place it here, and it frame like exterior. Just click to delete a face. Moving on to the top level, repeating the same thing as the basement. Push and pull upwards. I am using offset tool to be able to empty a shape. Delete the faces from both sides if you want to create a window or a hole. Now I am using the line tool to have more control on where I want my lines to go. It'll try to create some beams at the top here. To create a beam, I will draw a square and then push it upwards until it meets this edge. David, did you know that the line tool can also cut faces? Whoa, Amy, really? That will make things a lot easier. So as you can see, if you think the shape is not perfect, you can clean it with the line tool like this.
and just repeat the process until we finish all the beams, right? Exactly. Just don't forget your guidelines to get the perfect spacing and distance. Connect. That should be your reference point. Use the line tool too to draw. Start where the guideline touches the face and connect it to the edges of the roof. Do the same thing for the other side. See? That was simple. Karen just could not. I am repeating the same thing for the back of the house. Earlier, I painted the faces to make it easier for me to align them. You don't have to do that.
Now we will add some windows using the rectangle tool again. Same as before, just click on a face to delete it. I went ahead and added some window frames and painted them black. As I mentioned earlier you don't need to construct a whole level since you won't be able to add library windows and doors to it, this is just to get you familiar with the construction tool and its tips and tricks. I will just add a font door and a garage door. Now I'll draw a face to add a glass finish to it. I went ahead and added some exterior just to beautify it a little, however the effect is not going to be as good as when you add a basement. Since with the construction we went under the set ground level, you won't be able to add light sources or any effects to this area. So even if you have lights here you can't illuminate them for the render. That is why I advise you to add floors and basement instead of using the construction tool. I added this floor with the construction tool as well and added some trees and a car. Now there you have it. I think it is all done, you can go ahead and save it and render it. I really hope this video was helpful in making you understand the construction tool better. 
Next time I will show you how to add floors and basements so that the house can go well with the environments and you can get exterior lights as well. If you want me to do a specific video explaining something in Kuham or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want me to keep doing more of these tutorials. See you next time.